Hey guys, it's Val and I'm back with another video. Today we are doing a wash day video and I've been natural for going on six years now and so I just wanted to show you guys how I wash my hair. So first I'm just gonna take down these little raggedy braids that I have <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you what products I'm gonna be using. Um, the video is kind of sped up so I'm just gonna tell you what I used beforehand. I'm using the Originals by Africa's Best Hair Mayonnaise to deep condition my hair, a wide tooth comb and then a spray bottle, clips and you know, whatever you may have. And then I'm going to use um, a scrunchie to pull my hair back and I'm going to finger detangle my hair and I do my hair in four sections. So I finger detangle first, then go in with the spray bottle and then get my hair, not super, super damp, but pretty, you know, moist. Um, just to, my hair takes a lot to get wet. And then I'm just going to apply the deep conditioner from root to tip and then massage that in. And then once I do that, I'm going to um, go in with my wide tooth comb to remove any other um, strands that I may have that are dead. Once I finish detangling, I'm going to um, two, strand, two, strand, two strand twist my hair and then pin it up and I'm going to repeat the same process for all four sections. And when you're um, deep conditioning your hair, make sure you're really working it in there. I prefer to deep condition my hair before I like shampoo it. I guess that's a pre-poo. Um, I just really started taking care of my hair for real, for real last year. And I wash my hair and deep condition my hair at least once every two weeks. But I usually aim for once a week um, just because I have a really dry scalp and I have really bad scabbing on my scalp for some reason. So, but ever since I started washing my hair once a week and doing this process, my hair has grown a lot and I don't, my scalp doesn't really scab up as bad as it used to. I went ahead and skipped to the last section. I'm gonna twist it up and pin that up. I'm going to put a shower cap on my head and let the deep condition sit for one hour. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put with my puppy. This is my baby girl, Kiko. She is six months old. She's so freaking cute. She wanted to get in the video so bad. Now I'm going to um, wash out my deep conditioner and for my shampoo, since I have a really dry, itchy scalp, I'm going to use the Head and Shoulders 2-in-1 um, Itchy Scalp Care and it has um, eucalyptus oil in it and I love this shampoo. It has worked wonders for my scalp. I really don't have an itchy scalp like that anymore. The scabbing has completely went away that I used to have on my hairline and so I'm just going to wash my hair in the four sections. Um, like as I did with the um, deep conditioner and yeah, I just always do everything in four and While I'm washing I'm also still finger detangling and then for my conditioner I'm gonna use the Aussie mega moist conditioner um, Quenches thirst locks in a flash and this smells really good and I got this from Walmart for about four bucks And I got the head and shoulders from Walmart for about three or four dollars as well. Okay, so when I apply my conditioner at the end, I don't rinse it out at first. I apply the conditioner in each section, then I braid it up, and then I do a two-strand twist. Sorry for the foggy um, as My sister came in and <laughs> wiped it off for me. But um, yeah, I found that it's just easier to um, just rinse out the conditioner while it's already in the twist, and then my hair's already um, kind of stretched out at the end. I'll just let it, I'll rinse it out, and then I'll let it dry like this when I put a t-shirt on it. Um, yeah, that, that just cuts back time too. So I'll just rinse it out um, with the conditioner already in the braids. 
So that way my hair is already detangled, already sectioned, and then I can go ahead and moisturize it once my hair is dry. Okay, so I put a t-shirt on my hair to dry like I said earlier and I'm just going to take down my braids. It took about two hours for my hair to dry, maybe less than that because it's about 85% dry. And then I'm going to use African Shea Butter and I got mine from the beauty spot store. Um, I'm just going to rub some on my face. My face was a little ashy. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to rub this in my hair and I do this for each section of my hair. And um, I just rub it from root to tip and make sure I focus on my ends. And then once I do all four sections, I'm just going to pin it up and then I'm going to put a turban on because I don't really know what to do with my hair right now. But yeah, and then that's really what I do to wash my hair. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you guys can drop them in the comments below. And I want to thank you guys for watching my video. See you guys soon.